we completely crazy for traveling with two 18 month olds? Ah, thanks for asking. Yes, this was stupid. <laughs> Do you really look stupid? No, it's not stupid. It's just our Everest. You know, going on holiday is the toughest thing of our life. <laughs> Welcome back to another video, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Elle. I'm Dave. Good to meet you. Revy and Rue, our 18 month old twins, are just hanging over there with Ms. Rachel, our living nanny. If you know, you know, she's on YouTube. We love her so much. And we are currently packing up our hotel room. We've been in Houston for two days. flew in from New Zealand, we are still adjusting to the time zone, aka we have not adjusted. The twins have not adjusted, I should say. But I wanted to start this vlog now because tomorrow's a travel day and we've started preparing now. I thought I would share exactly how we do that. Pre-kids, we would not be preparing the day before. But let's just check in, time check, okay. It is currently quarter to five, 4.45 and we are going to just do some things to get ready and get prepared. On the agenda is change row because he needs a change it sounds like. I've got a laundry bag hanging over there. I'm going to go do some laundry. This hotel has laundry facilities which is amazing. Highly recommend. And we're going to pack up as much of the hotel room as possible. My mum and my sister and my dad, they are also on this trip with us. If you haven't seen our travel vlog, flying internationally with the twins, go and check out that video, I'll leave that linked here. They are going to come and sit in the room while the twins are sleeping so that Dave and I can go out for dinner together, which is such a treat. But before that, we've got to get the twins ready, all of that stuff, so I figured let's just do it all together, because why not? These are little activity packs that I made for them on the plane for the international flight and they were great. I've hung them up in our hotel room just in different places so that they can explore and get stuff out. It's mostly just getting things out, putting things away. While Revy throws popsicle sticks, let me give you a quick tour as to how we've organized this room. This is our changing Diaper? station. Yeah, so we found this here. We moved it, it was in front of this couch, but we moved it to the side and there was this like table here which we've put on its side because that was a climbing station. So we've got a little nappy changing, diaper change station there. Nappies, wipes, there's like little diaper bags. We've got the twins clothes here. And before we left, I made little packs. So through Saturday, that's what he's wearing today. Rue Wednesday, and it just has his top and his pants all in one bag. That means whoever's changing him just knows where his clothes are. It makes it super easy. The only thing is I've got a couple of long pants for him and a couple of long tops. We have these coming next. Disney Travel Day. This is a YouTuber's energy drink and I'm gonna do a quick review of it. This is... What YouTuber? Uh, Paul. This is Paul. Jake Paul? That's the boxer one. This is the pretend wrestler one. I don't know who. No, WWE. Logan Paul? Oh, yep, yeah, that's a name. <laughs> that's a name that sounds familiar. Well, New Zealanders will know this as Raro. Sweet navel orange <laughs> Raro. It tastes like Raro. Mm. Well, that's good. Well, that's quite nice. Okay, over there I've got extra BUNs, aka okay, their favourite cuddly toys and little baggies there and there. I've got some food for them, which I'm going to cook up. I bought these dehydrated meals that you just add boiling water to, so we'll give that a go to one of their dinners. I'm sure they'll hate it, but they hate everything. And then our stuff I put up here on this table. So it's like easier for us to get to. And then over here is shower station. I bought a couple of toys for the twins. We aren't doing baths this time. I just put a towel down in the shower and that's how we shower. Like I shower in there with them and it's just easier that way for them to be able to kind of walk around with their toys. It's like just, yeah, it's just the easiest way. Here's the hanging laundry. Revy did get sick on the plane. She has some medicine that can make her sick. So we were given her some anti, we were given some anti-nausea as well, which we ended up giving to her after she threw up. But unfortunately we have to deal with the throw up that's in there. I have, my makeup in here. This here is my toiletry bag, which 
I packed the essentials, but I just put things in like small little bottles. I even did shaving gel in a wee bottle, which seems to be working okay. Just got my Lash Fridays, which my code is L10 if you want to try it out. I love it. I've got my brow sculpt, and I only bought my eyelash serum because it's the same serum in the eyelash and the eyebrow. So that way I can just put the eyelash serum on my eyebrows. Somehow I managed to get some mark on my top that's so going to go in the wash pretty soon. Um, and then yeah, I've been hanging up some of the stuff that I did hand wash that was able to be hand washed. But since I found out there's laundry here, I'm going to put it all in my laundry hamper. And we'll head down and do some, well, we'll find where the laundry is and do it. Up there, Dave and I have been putting our shoes so that way the twins don't get them and like touch them because they're gross after being out all day. That's the thought of that. And then over here is Dave's little charging situation, which he really strategized hard, didn't you, before we left New Zealand? Thought about it, made a diagram. <laughs> what cables we would need or what, like USB-C, the Apple Lightning one. USB the regular one, the USB the the small one, and we need all of those because thanks electrical companies. So yeah, I've got a little charging dock here from Kmart, right? Which yeah, from Kmart, which gives you six six outlets here, and then I've also bought a couple of USA to NZ adapters for the things like iPads and things which need a bit more juice. So we're all set and uh, yeah, power it up, ready to go, full of energy. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dave assembled our tent, so we have. Each of the babies has their own slumber pod on top of the slumber pod, which is this blackout tent. We keep their pajamas so we can get them into PJs nice and quick. And then inside is their, well, it's called a pack and play. People call it a pack and play in America, but we call them cots, <laughs> travel cots. It's got their mattress and everything, their sleep sack, but sleep has been really troublesome. Sleep's hard to come by, turns out. They've been crying from 11 till 2 a.m. local time. place we're heading. What to are we... the car. And then? To the rental car place. <laughs> and then? To the airport. Check out the bus. Down the hill. How you feeling? Good, despite three hours sleep. Yeah, I think the vlog would happen. <sighs> I couldn't sleep. <laughs> Big day today. Yeah. And I just got a little nervous. Here we are, the big car. We're just driving out of the hotel, we've done it. Our plan originally was to be leaving at seven. It's quarter past eight now. Huh? Which is pretty good for us, actually. It is good right. for us. Our standard's low, you can tell, right? It's just hard. We did have the help as well. Yep, the major help was um, entertaining the twins while we packed yeah. up around them. That was huge. Massive. So, yeah, so we're an hour and a quarter late, <laughs> but we did give ourselves a little bit of buffer time. Mm. The plan now is to get to the rental car centre ASAP. You have to be there three hours before a flight, and for us, three hours before the flight is 9.20. But as Dave was saying, the airports here, at least the one that we're at today, is huge, and there's so many moving parts to that airport with like buses and transport and you know, because we're traveling as a group of five of us with all of our bags, the bus needs to have enough space to hold all of us and our bags to take us. And we're dealing with like, battling with commuters as well, right? Yeah, so the, the rental car center is a long way away from the airport, which means you get on, gotta get on a bus. And mm. well, there's no guarantee of getting on the first bus. Most of them in America no... are a bus. I don't think I've ever oh. had one like, at, like in New Zealand, you get off the plane and in the same airport terminal as where you get your car. The, the rental cars are like on the tarmac, just like waiting <laughs> at the plane. Um, but He's here, um, yes, yeah, so there's no guarantee that you'll get on the first bus. There's no guarantee of when the bus will come. So just trying to give we didn't get time. on the first or the second bus when we arrived. It was an absolute mare. 
It was a lot of people such a mere. There are pushers who are green. So anyway, that's just like what's going through our heads right now behind the scenes. And as Dave said, giving yourself a buffer is something that we do with the twins always. We're like, okay, what time do we need to leave at an hour? Just because even getting out to the airport, if you remember that vlog, when we were leaving New Zealand, literally Dave was holding Ruby, walking her to the car, and she had an explosion, a nappy explosion, that she had to have her nappy changed, her pants changed, like everything had to be changed. Her onesie she was wearing underneath had to be changed. Yeah, so you've got to, you've got to allow for, you know... The disaster. The unexpected. And maybe you're someone who the disasters don't happen to, but to us... You can almost guarantee that a disaster is going to happen. So you have to allow for the curse. Its effects. We joke and say we're cursed, but yeah, I don't know if we are cursed. We just try to show like the real reality of it. So anyway, babies are in the car, bags are in the car, we're doing good so far. We should be up there, but Dave took an exit, so we're off the motorway. We're off the freeway. We made it, George Bush Intercontinental Airport. Woohoo! This is George Bush, not George W. Bush. This is Daddy Airport. Okay. This is the Daddy Airport. This is uh, okay, let's, Operation let's about, Desert Storm Airport. Less about that, more about the detour that didn't end up being that bad, right? Uh, yeah, I missed an exit. Or like I took an exit accidentally. We were all there for that, honey. But we have made it back on board. I think it's extended our thing by about two minutes. Nice. Um, but we are here. It is 8.55. We are arriving in two minutes which is three hours and three minutes like ahead of our flight. Oh my gosh, we have three minute buffer. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Because if you remember, we got to be there three hours before. So wow, you did amazing. Did you feel stressed when that kind of like... Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, okay, yeah, just, yeah. just like, you know, feedback for other people <laughs> so they feel less alone when they go do the same thing. Yep, I felt stressed. I felt stressed. It was my bad. I wasn't paying attention. I was on my phone. We so. almost ended up at an Astros game. <laughs> Which is baseball, right? Yeah. Yeah. If we didn't have the extra hands, Rue would have to be strapped to you in a front pack as well. Yeah. There's no way to do it otherwise. Just saying, I'm so happy about how smooth today has gone, with the exception of one wrong exit. Like, we got straight to the rental car center, no problems. These guys were right behind us. We managed to get our bags onto carts straight away, straight up the lift, first, first in line to get on the bus, and the bus is empty and it's air conditioned. And I'm just good. I'm just good. Yeah, yeah. Our arrival was nothing like this. This is the complete opposite. It was so chaotic, I, I could not vlog it. I could not sleep last night because I was thinking about like the reverse of the other day. But this is the opposite. Yeah, we're very lucky. How different world. My sister and my parents have status, which means like we can get into these lounges. Mm. We found this room that is was free, so it's entirely ours. It's mum's setup. Look at that. I really want this setup. <laughs> bag and that bag just all seamlessly goes. Meanwhile, this is me. Pizza. You're a frequent traveler. Just a one pack. You don't have a roller bag. I do. I checked it. Oh, you checked it. But normally you have a roller bag. Yeah. What brand? I don't know. Doesn't matter. American, American tourist. American tourists, but I want July. It's all falling apart. <laughs> okay, we're going. We're doing it. We're on the move. Oh, okay. She stopped crying for a bit. <laughs> for a bit. It's like mostly I just get like overwhelmed and feel embarrassed, you know, and then it makes me a bit more frantic. I try to stay calm, but it's really hard because you're like, oh my gosh, everyone's looking at me. We're making such a scene. But anyway.
she won't. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, it's a bit of an inside joke. Someone messaged Dave and said, oh, I'll look disheveled after our flight from New Zealand to Houston. And I was disheveled and I am disheveled every time. It is, it's a mission, but it's, it's a good mission. And I'm so grateful that we get to do it. That flight and airport and everything, we were joking before we left and said that we were cursed, but actually, very uneventful. Big tips, have snacks. Lots and lots and lots of snacks. Our tablets, we have iPads for both of the twins. We just bought them when they're on sale. We have toddler tablet cases. I will leave the ones we have linked in the description box if you're looking for ones. We decided to subscribe to YouTube Premium because we watch a lot of Ms. Rachel, Super Silly Songs, and we cut our subscription to other things. We're on this plan that means that you can connect five devices, I think, is it? So we've got the twins linked, Dave and I linked, and it's really nice because you don't have to worry about ads when we're not in the playroom with the twins. And also it means you can download your favorite YouTube shows to watch offline, which is what we do. So when we're not connected to the internet, YouTube can be running in the background, which is so, so handy. But if you don't have a tablet or you don't want to use a tablet, there's other distractions you can. Activity books, stickers. We've got the stickers going here. They are so good. And thankfully the twins both slept on this flight, which is my dream situation. We had lollipops for the going up and coming down, um, which also really helped with their ears, popping them. I forgot to pack the lollipops in our bag with us on our flight into the States, into Houston. Big regret. The lollipops that I have are ones that are sugar free, but they don't have any of the sugar alcohols in them. So they're actually keto friendly, but they are better for their teeth because of the no sugar. But again, do you, I don't, whatever you need to do to get through, like it's kind of just survival. Those are the things that work really well for us. And also having a carrier, a good carrier, I hate the carrier that I'm wearing. We have new carriers that we ordered off of Amazon that will hopefully be waiting for us at the resort when we get there. We're currently on the bus heading, this is the Mears Transport Bus, heading to Disney Pop Century where we're staying. So all of the Disney vlogs are coming. I'll leave it here so I don't just talk on and on and on. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because support means the world. And if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss the next video in our series. We'll see you again real soon. Hey Ruby, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye guys.